There's a 74-foot tree missing from the Albert's Yard in West Stockbridge tonight. What happened to it is no mystery. It's the latest chapter in a love story so compelling that neighbors showed up this morning to watch as that tree was cut down. The beautiful Norway spruce was handpicked to be this year's Christmas tree in New York's Rockefeller Center. Now, the tree was donated by Earl Albert in loving memory of his late wife, Leslie. They were newlyweds when they planted that tree together back in 1967. WBZ photojournalist Terry McNamara brings us to West Stockbridge. Okay, Marie, you ready to, you ready to cut it? It's a big, beautiful tree. As I was rode over here, I, I saw it in front of me and I knew it was the right one. My wife and I have been here since 1966. We planted it a year after I was married. Watch it grow. I used to decorate it every year. I've been down the streets of town right to the traffic stop. Town's famous now. Thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. It's a gorgeous landmark, but it's going to um, have a new life in Rockefeller Center for the holidays. My le wife Leslie would have loved it. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> well, it is emotional, but uh, um, it's wonderful too. Goodbye, tree. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be down there for the tree light. I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I was just getting some sawdust from the tree to kind of remember my mom and remember the day. It's a gift to the world. It's not a. It's not something that we're taking away. It's something that we're giving. It's a great tree. It's a great family, and it's a great place. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> my grandson will have his first tree lighting, and it'll be the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. That was his great great grandmother's. Oh well, I'll see you. See you in New York. <laughs> And the Alberts tree is going to be heading for the Big Apple on a flatbed truck. It'll be lifted into place this Saturday. It's such a super sweet story. Yeah. I think planting a tree is one of the great joys in life. Seeing it cut down is usually just a tragedy. But the love behind that story and seeing how proud he is right. that it's going to be there in New York. And to see all the people supporting him it's in this fantastic. decision, it's going to be special. Great job by Terry McNamara.